Hey y'all, Dylan here. Today I'm gonna to show you an AI agent that can help you build a cold email outreach system for your business. It's built upon my previous video that shows you how you can use Apify plus NAN to scrape 50,000 leads or more for your business. And this one will take that even farther where we're gonna be able to take those leads that get enriched through that system and then be able to take them and dynamically create a list out of them inside of Instantly, create a campaign for your Instantly campaign systems, and then take all of those and then put those together so you have an email campaign ready to go with your new list of leads that can drive business into your company so if that sounds interesting let's get into it shall we all right so what we have here is Apify. This is a service that is really a scraping service that you can plug into through NAN. We're gonna be using a webhook for this. And this is from the previous video. This shows you the system that we had built from before. And I'm gonna turn this one on to show you it working. We're just gonna turn on this service and this is gonna be grabbing a small list of leads for the business. You can see this is gonna to start to run in the background. And as this thing's running in the background, let me explain what's happening here. So we have a webhook going from Apify that is then gonna be grabbing that data set from the completed Apify scraping services over here. So once this thing is done, it will then grab all those leads, throw that into sheet number two with all of them. We're gonna then filter through a uh, node here that will allow us to then grab only the ones that will have emails and websites available so that we can run them through the system. Over here, you can see this thing running. It's going into here. And as it's looping through here, we're gonna to go to their website. We're gonna grab the content from that website. We're gonna then uh, summarize what that website's about. We're gonna be looking at who they are, their pain points, their offers, and all that fun stuff. And we're gonna add that back into the sheet. We're gonna then write a personalized email statement for that, a uh, personalized outreach message, I should say. And then we're gonna add that into the sheet. And this is gonna loop through here a couple of different times. Now let me show you that sheet in working order. So we can see here the original list we had here was about 20 of them, and we have just this information that we uh, dy dynamically pulled in. And the things we're gonna be adding into is website description and the one line icebreaker. If we look over here, we can see over here, this has, oh, it looks like that one didn't have it. This one does have it, and you can see that we have the website offer, target audience, pain points, selling positions, all that fun stuff. And you can see that this is the outreach message that we have. I see, hi, Rachel, I see that this has the message for you. And this is going down again and again. Does the same thing here with David, looks at the website and goes back and forth through this entire process. And this is looping through as we speak. And we can see this thing get dynamically generated. We'll see this get populated again one more time as this loops through. Again, key offers, target audience, pain points, unique selling position. And this really does connect this over. And so once this is done enriching with the last couple of leads here, we'll carry on with the rest of this so that you can see how this whole thing ties together with the AI agent system. Okay, we can see that this has completed the enriching of all the leads by going to the website. Now, if we go to the AI agent, here's what we have, and we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna go ahead and create a chat with it and just say, create a campaign with leads. I hit enter. We're gonna be able to see this right here. This is now going into the sub workflow of the tools, which is gonna be creating a leads list inside of Instantly. It's gonna then create a campaign inside of Instantly, and then it's gonna add all of those leads into the campaign. And so if we go over here to Instantly, we can see that result. Here's that campaign. And we can see here are all of the leads inside of the campaign. So if we double back here and take a look at the system, this is how it works. We have, let me go ahead and close this out. What we have here is we have the typical AI agent inside of NADN. We're using OpenAI as an intelligence model. We're using some window graph of memory so it can have some memory behind it. And this is the first tool that we're using, which is create a leads list. If we look at this AI agent here at the top, and we're gonna expand this out, we can see here that this is the SOP for it, is to create leads inside of a campaign and then add those leads inside of this. So step one, create the leads list with the first leads list tool, right? And we're gonna wait back to get that leads list ID. Then we're gonna create a campaign using the create a campaign tool, and we're gonna wait back for the campaign ID. And then we're gonna add the leads in the campaign by calling the add leads campaign tool. And then we're gonna add in the campaign ID and the lead list ID so that it combines it all together. And if we look at this, we can see that it was successfully created. Here's the leads list ID, and here's the campaign ID, and it's, it has worked as expected. Now going into this first tool, which is the step one of the process, this is the create a leads list. Inside of here, here is the flow. It went through here, it made this leads list inside of here, and we'll open this up. We can see inside of here, we're using, we're just giving this thing a name, we're calling this leads list 08, we're using this 
API from Instantly, and we're calling the leads list inside here where, for that we can be able to create the leads list with this. And then I'm feeding in the token from Instantly. In order to make a, a new API or a new API key for Instantly, you just need to go into Instantly and then go inside Settings, hit Integrations, and then we tap on API key, and then we hit Create API key. Now in here, you can say whatever you want to call this one. If you want to call this one example, go scopes, hit all, do that and hit create. And that's how you can create the API key that's needed to be able to bring that over here and use that for all the different keys for, for creating this. So that's where I have the uh, API key inside of here. Now, then we're going to be getting this Google sheet. We're going to be getting that sheet one that we have across here. And then we're going to be looping through this every single time to add those leads to the lead list, right? So this is the add lead list section inside of here. And you can see inside of here, we're having the list ID, the first name, last name, company, personalization, website, and email. These are all the things that are needed for the uh, cold email campaign. So once we loop through there, we then have this last field inside of here that just says um, basically the JSON body and uh, we're getting the leads list ID, so we can kick that back through to our main agent over here. So it now has that information. We then do step two, where we go to create a campaign. And inside create campaign, we're gonna open this up, and this is a tool for creating a campaign. And we can see here that we have the campaigns URL that we're linking to. We are then putting in this JSON body. I'm gonna open this up. There's some required parameters inside here that are not always intuitive, so this might help you out when making this is you give it a name, I'm calling this one campaign eight, and then you give a schedule of when you want this to run, you wanna set your time zone, and then this is the, the different emails that are gonna be sent right now. This is just some template emails, one, two, and three, and then it's gonna actually, what's neat about this is this section inside of here, inside of Instantly, it will dynamically add in their first name and any other data that we wanted to add inside of here, like the personalization. Now, once this gets done and it creates a campaign, it will then kick it back to this, so we have the lead list ID and the campaign ID and then we kick out to this third workflow here which is adding those that leads list to that campaign this is what this would look like if I open this up you can see that we are getting this campaign list and ID from the AI agents we have the token that we have set where I showed you how to make that and then this is moving the leads list into that campaign you can see we're getting that campaign list and ID for the list for the campaign ID and the list ID and what we're doing here is I'm passing over the authorization token from the original set node field. And then inside of here, we have the list ID and then we have the campaign ID being passed across. So that is being added into there. And so once we do that, we do this returning data, which I think is important. We feed back the list ID, the campaign ID, and the status code to make sure that we're putting the right list, the right ID, and that it was actually successful. And you can see here, code 200 means that it is successful. And that is now kicking that back to this AI agent right here. And that is why we're getting the success code and everything else we need for the campaign. Uh, so that is everything. That is how it all works. This was a quick run through of everything. Now I'm going to make the, this workflow available. There'll be a link to get it down below. And if you would like me to have this, build this inside of your own business, there'll be a link to book me inside of the meeting as well. I'm happy to put this inside of, your, inside of your business and help you get more leads for your company through the power of AI and cold emails. If you found this valuable, I'll be covering more topics like this in the future. So please subscribe and comment what else you'd like to see me do. But I'll be covering this and building upon it inside the future. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Much love. And I will see you on the other side. Bye now.